Hello guys, here's another little video to show you how to remove the white background from a JPG image, especially using for sublimation or crafting. And we're using it on the Windows PC this time. We can also remove or change any color in a JPG file. And it's really easy. Just let me show you how. So load your image. This image is available on the download site. The address is in the um, description below. But it's a simple image, as you can see. Removing the background colour from an image in Designer can seem an impossible task to begin with, but here we are. A few simple strokes with the built-in tools can give you a clean JPG image in just a few strokes. So, load your image supplied in the download section on my website. It's called 10.jpg. So load the image, immediately duplicate it, and lock and hide the first original. You can see it in the layers panel there, just like you see here. Number 10, JPG. It's also a good idea to save it now as something like 10-1, and save it as an AF Designer file where you keep all your AF designer files and you can come back to it later. Now backgrounds. With this method on the outside of the image only you could just use the selection brush. So select the pixel persona. You can see the arrow pointing to it there, pixel persona. Detect the selection brush tool that's it down there. You can either detect it or select it, the selection brush tool. It sounds like a mouthful when you say select the selection brush. But there it is, selection brush tool. With the brush selected, set the brush size for this image to 30 pixels. It really depends on your image as well. Smaller brushes for smaller areas, obviously. Now let's have a look at the next section. We're going to brush the background. Tap the brush on the white background and look for the crawling ants. Tap or swipe, it's really up to you. Just drag the drag your finger or your or your pencil across the the uh, the white area and you'll see the crawling ants will appear in that section. So called because the dotted lines seem to crawl around the image, looking for all the world like ants. Well kind of. With the selection process complete, and in this case you've got four corners there because the image goes right to the boundaries. So there's one, two, three, four, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Tap the refine tool to colour the image with the refine mask. Then carefully paint over any imperfections, if there are any. With this particular image, you shouldn't have to worry, but it will come up with that red colour. And when satisfied, tap Apply. That way you know that you've got all the areas selected that you want in this first instance. Next, select the Edit tool and select Cut. So you go up to Edit and select Cut. And what happens? Your background is gone. But wait, I hear you say. What about inside the pumpkin? Well, in this case, we need to remove the white from there as well. If you want to, you may not want to. You can actually remove a colour from our JPG by another method. Hmm, the same, but different. Select the flood selection tool and tap on the white of a segment of the pumpkin. Make sure you have the correct layer selected, of course. The crawling ants appear and select only the white. And this is a mystery. Why does it do this? Because the flood selection tool floods all the colours that you initially tap on. And there it is, the white. So it selects everything in that white area. Except the patches that are on the pumpkin and outside the boundaries of the white area that you tap on. And you'll see that momentarily. Repeat the previous steps. Select Refine. 
Then select Apply, just as before. Repeat the process to remove more of the white if you want to remove all of the white. And in this case I've left the white dots in place for emphasis. Remember, once you apply, then you select Edit and Cut and that little section will be gone. Just leaving the clear background exposed. And if you work your way around the pumpkin and you see it, you can see there I've left one segment on the left hand side white. Your segment is now completely transparent except for that bit and that bit, right? So there's only that centre bit that we first did which is now transparent. Or we can simply colour or recolour segments as we like very easily. Now this is quite a useful trick for recolouring your segments. Select an area of the pumpkin and apply the flood selection tool. So we're working in that section now. You will see the crawling ants of the selected area faintly around the edges. And of course I haven't enlarged that. You can see that faintly there around the edges. If you look really closely you'll see the crawling ants. That segment of the pumpkin we can now paint a separate colour. Now select the paintbrush tool and pick your desired colour. You'll be aware that the flood select tool will select any colour or none. Now using the brush settings I have here you can easily paint your colour in the pumpkin in the area selected with the flood selection tool. So only the area that you've got selected with the flood selection tool will be coloured with the colour you select. How cool is that? So you can remove or repaint any colour or even paint where there's no colour at all. So if you do the same in the transparent segment and select a colour, the transparent segment will change to that colour. Now what have I done there? With all the background removed we can then deal with the image as we like. It's that easy. And you can see there we've got one segment removed, completely transparent, so you can see the blue background behind it. But one segment we coloured orange, or brown, or yellowish, hmm, yellowish orange. It's not quite brown, is it? But there we go. It's that easy. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the thumbs up to like. This is a very useful tool for people in the doing graphics arts, sublimation, cutouts, things like that. You're always wanting to change colours and remove backgrounds. Well, there it is. Thanks for watching.